All right, let's talk about what it's going to be for traveling and how you can get your golf bags around, i.e. the golf cart. We have Devin here from Sun Mountain, and we're going to review two more items. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop, and this is the second video uh, of the Sun Mountain product. They have such an entirely large line that doing it in one, you'd just be bored out of your skull, and we didn't want that. <laughs> and so the first one was on the golf bag, and you'll probably see it somewhere up in here, a little link to where that video went. This one is on... Uh, how do you get your clubs when you're traveling? How do you use them or how do you how do you get them there safely? And the other one is uh, When you're at your course if you're like walking, but you don't like carrying what can you do? Okay, and Sun Mountain is basically top-notch in both of these categories All right, and the first one is we have our Club, glider. club gliders All right, so I have the original club glider. Can I tell them about how they got the club glider? On yeah. the golf channel? All right, see club glider. You see this leg right here? If you remember, the golf channel had a reality TV show and it was all about make me a golf product that nobody's ever seen. And one of the winners was a guy that had a, an idea for a fold out leg and a roll around to make it easier to go around the airports. Uh, the thing was absolutely brilliant. Well, no more than they got done and Sun Mountain jumped on that thing with both feet. Out comes the club glider. All right, when that thing came out, I saw that and I thought, you know what? The one thing I truly hate doing is lugging my bag around an airport when you got that two-wheeler and it's just another load on you. And I got that from, you know, those little four-wheel luggage things that you mm -hmm. just push right around. Oh, yeah. This thing is smoother than one of those, I'm here to tell you. And the club glider, I, this is the, one of the original ones. So how old does this make this? Since 2008? Probably, uh, probably 11 or 12, I think. Yeah. I can't so, really remember. <laughs> so this, thing, this thing's pretty old. This thing's been to Ireland and back. It's been to, Wa or, well, it's been to, yeah, Washington. It's been to Vancouver. It's been to the other country, California. <laughs> it's been to uh, um, uh, the PGA show dozens upon dozens of times. And I have yet to have a broken club. TSA likes it because the zippers work really good and everything bolts back up real nice and easy. I like it because I can literally push it or pull it with no effort whatsoever. And it's been standing the test of time. Well, now they've had some other models because some people don't... This is the heaviest, biggest model they make, and uh, and it stands the test of time. But now they have. Yeah, we oh. make actually actually we make three models now. There you go. Or not. So um, that's the Meridian. Uh, what I have in my hand is the new Meridian. We also have a Journey, which is kind of a entry level model um, with a few less colors and bells and whistles. And then also we have the Pro, um, which is the professionals version so it goes on tour it goes on the planes with the professionals on the pga lpga and champions tour so that one is um more fitted for staff bags but um probably my best story about the club glider is as an at airport my husband and i were traveling with clubs we had a newborn so not only does a newborn come by themselves but they also come with a car seat a stroller um luggage so my best story is my husband's dropping off the car i've got a stroller car seat baby in the stroller I've got, um, of course, luggage, and then I actually hooked the club glider to the stroller with a carabiner, and I could pull the club glider by pushing the stroller. So it definitely is one of those things that's nice to be able to use one finger, one hand. Um, I think there's a Twitter video out there somewhere of Ben Crane with his son pushing it with one hand. So it definitely is um, very, very functional when you're talking about the airport. So. so other than the legs, and it basically just pull out push down and it's all done but that that's not the whole deal here is that when you open this thing up it's kind of like a coffin for your clubs you lay it in there set it down there it straps in you've got a, 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 a strap to hold them in securely on mine it has two a lower and an upper because 
Uh, mine actually is made to hold two smaller bags mm -hmm. or one big staff bag and it, and it holds it down in there tight. Then you have the, uh, the material that it's made out of is just super tough. All right, made to take the abrasions that the, from the guys throwing the clubs in and out. And you'll notice that the top kind of looks like a bullet, right? And that's, it's all padding there. In mine, it's the same way, but it just has a different design. And it's super, super thick. Okay, down at the bottom in the body, not so much, but that's where the bag's at, and the bag's doing most of the protecting. Then you got the heavy duty zipper, and then on these newer ones, they have the outer belts to secure it down even more. And they have the little plastic uh, quick connects, which is way better than the snaps. Okay, mine has the snaps, but it doesn't have the quick connects on the outside, so it's kind of a trade. Uh, and then it, the other part that a lot of a lot of things get overlooked was the, these right here are big pockets and that's where I put my shoes All right, one shoe on each side you could put more stuff in there and honestly uh, when you go on vacation you always got to go to the tchotchke store and you always come back with t-shirts and Lord knows what well this is a really great place to smuggle those back without having your luggage to be overweight yep. don't tell anybody in TSA I said that <laughs> but, but that so if you're going traveling uh, and you want something and you do a lot of traveling take a look at the Sun Mountain line of club gliders and pick the one that's for you you know if you don't go very far you don't do very much then maybe the beginning model but if you're one of those guys that takes an annual trip everywhere you might want to use the pro and and because that you know the little bit of money you spend here is going to save you a whole lot of money when you when you have it go get a broken club repaired in a foreign place and you just don't know what you're getting so that's what you want to take a look at there um the other thing too that's kind of new to sun mountain is we've taken that technology and we've added suitcases with the glider technology also ski glider so you can take since Montana is very much a ski state um, in the winter time, we wanted something people could travel with their skis in with the same idea. So check us out online for all the the travel options. I would say. So yeah, especially if you like the ease of getting around an airport or just pushing, because uh, you know places like Chicago, the very or, you know the big metropolitan airports, uh, if they don't have those walkways, man, it's uh, it's a pain in the butt. Even even the smallest one. When we go up to Columbus, you know it's about a from even the most convenient spot where you you know pay the bigger money it's still you know about a half a mile hike to get from your car to where you're checking in and then you get on and uh, why be wore out when you get ready to go on vacation <laughs> okay secondly we're going to talk about how you get your clubs around the golf course okay Sun Mountain's really known for their their carry bags and they have an excellent you know carry bag to be sure but old guys like me don't like carrying those bags. They Not like pushing. Only. They Very like cool. pushing. Okay. And Sun Mountain was the what? First, yeah. They were the first for a three-wheeled uh, cart, right? And what we have here is the what is it? The V speed cart. Yep. Speed cart GT is what they're called now. Mm-hmm. All right. And this is when it's folded up. This is the footprint that it has. All right, so back of a truck, a larger car, not a problem whatsoever. Not real heavy, otherwise you wouldn't see me picking this thing up. But uh, what I'm going to do is we have this one, and then we have the micro cart. And the micro cart has a, an incredibly small footprint. You look at that. So if you have a smaller car, a mini, uh, this might be for you. And it's also lighter too, I believe. Mm, it is. This one's like 16 pounds, and I don't know what this one is, but... So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get behind the camera, and I'm going to let Devin show you how they open and how they close. Perfect. Um, while he's talking, a lot, a lot of the trend nowadays is to be healthy, stay healthy. So we've seen a lot of people that are um, not saying they're old, like Jim says, but people like myself that maybe I don't have the ability to carry a bag for 18 holes anymore, but I still want to walk. So a lot of the younger generation is starting to use push carts. A lot of the private clubs are starting to inherit that idea that having the healthy walking experience um, is okay. So uh, first I'll do the speed cart. Um, since it's the original, I'm going to point out a couple things. Um, we're very cognizant on um, what kind of bag can be put on a speed cart. So we try to make it for every brand. Obviously our brand will fit in there. Um, you'll notice here they've got um, 
a lot of extra room in the brackets based on your type of stand bag because we realize there will, will be a few stand bags that'll, that are put on a push cart. Um, the bungees are here to lock it down so you have a little adjustability, but really there's only two um, movements to this. You'll see these gray handles. Um, once you open that one gray handle, you can lock it down in the position that you want. And then the last one just undoes the bottom wheel. So once you get that in position, you can lock it down. And then really you're ready to go. In terms of function, these carts all come fully loaded with umbrella holders, um, a cup, mesh, tra uh, mesh uh, basket, your accessories tray, um, trying to think handbrake. But other than that, I think uh, that's it. We do have a full line of accessories on this cart as well. You can add seats and coolers and um, you know device holders. Yeah. So it's kind of a nice little thing to start with and then you can kind of add as you need. Can you um, show them the, the bag? Oh, the bag. Yep. Last we brought out the one. sink bag because um, we talked in the last one about that. Yeah, the that. last video we talked a little about kind of the specific bags we make for specific models. This one was the sink that has that cutout. I don't know if you can see it. Cutout on the bottom yep. of the bag. Um, so that actually locks it into place with the speed cart. So that way, even if you didn't want to use the bungees, that, that bag isn't going anywhere. And that works because the one I have doesn't have bungees and it, I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> the next model is the micro cart. It's our four wheel cart. Like Jim said, if you've got a smaller car or if you um, would like to just have a lighter weight option, the micro cart's a great option. Um, you'll take the gray handle here, open it up. And then actually this, this cart is kind of a one motion lock and load. You can hear, I don't know if you could hear that little click, but it actually clicked as soon as I got it far enough apart. Um, same frame as the bottom of the Speed Cart GT, so that bag, that sink bag will still fit in that footprint. Same thing here, brackets we made to fit carry bags and stand bags. Um, this thing also comes fully loaded with umbrella holder, cup, mesh basket, and the, the console of course. We always try to make spots on each one for golf balls and tees and pencils. Um, trying to think of anything else. Uh, in terms of tracking both carts, I've used both of them and they, they track very well. Uh, the micro cart does have a lot of adjustments you can make on the front wheel. If you have a wider bag, you can actually make the wheels a little bit wider base if you want or you can make them um, more narrow. But for the most part, hand brakes on both, um, pretty easy to use. And when she talked about umbrella holder, you got to see this to believe this because when I, I thought well, this is going to be one of the most worthless things ever to have however it's become one of the most useful tools ever and what it is it's it's a tube and it's got a little uh, screw in there and it screws into here okay the Sun Mountain makes an umbrella and now are they all UV protectant now most yeah I was gonna say and say so they have so for those of you guys that have to deal with skin cancer which I had that and so now I'm ultra sensitive to it uh, they have UV protected umbrellas and what so this screws in there you put the handle into the bottom of this right well what you do is you got a little bungee here and you put it around so it circles that this fits in here the bungee just pulls up and all it does is act as in case wind gets it it'll, it'll hold on to it and then this thing opens up and it's 62 inches worth of shade that it gives you on on the uh, golf cart and it just pushes right along and this thing uh, as you tilt this handle makes it go like this okay and you'd be surprised if for those guys like oh man it's so hot out I don't want to go do this well you know now you have your permanent shade with you the whole entire time and if it, you're going to have inclement weather instead of having to bust out your uh, your your rain hood on your golf bag you can have this and it's covering the whole thing so there's a whole lot you know there the the convenience of these things when you go walking you know if you like the walk I mean they're easy to push you know they're both and they both have adjustable heights you know because you see between me and Devin there's just a, an inch or two difference and so you can make it come down lower make it come down higher all done alright and and that goes with the umbrella and then your valuables if you don't want it if you want them here if you're one of those guys that brings a cell phone uh, that it can go in there and it's e it's easy in easy out uh, you will have this thing unloaded 
and the bag on it before you can be in less time than it takes to put your shoes on. And so that's how you get them around. Now there is a third cart. Yeah, we actually, if you if you take a look at this GT again with the sink on it, we actually decided last year to make a, a combo cart, and that's kind of what it is. It's a combo. It's actually a push cart with a bag already built into it, and it's kind of neat. It has that seat attached, so you can find it at sunmountain.com. It's called the combo cart, but we wanted to give the person the option that knew that they were going to push every time, fold it up in there car it actually is a one-piece unit um, so you have the bag and cart it folds up in your car goes in your trunk together um, it's a really neat idea for somebody who's really interested in, in making sure they walk and get their exercise and still able to uh, we'll call it the 16th club cart attached to the bag there you go <laughs> Look at the 16th club right there yeah so uh, you know again high quality um, you know we talked about Sun Mountain and their customer service the quality parts uh, the innovation being the first to do this. Uh, again, yet a story. We the original uh, cart came as an inflatable tire and had spikes in the whole nine, or uh, spokes, spokes yeah. in the whole nine yards. Well, uh, a lady that we had sold a cart to came back and handful of the spokes are missing for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, so we call up Sun Mountain. We say, hey, we we sent them some pictures and said, hey, missing some spikes or some spokes. And uh, they sent us three brand new tires of the non-inflatable kind. So that lady got an upgrade <laughs> and, uh, and, and now has a cart that she can push forever. So it's just that kind of stuff that, uh, that makes Sun Mountain, you know, a perennial, uh, you know, uh, Golf Digest gold lister year and year and year in and year out. And so that's what it is. So hopefully... Uh, you know, if you're looking for a push cart, this is the way to go. Uh, and again, if you if you don't like the white or the black, and you you want to be loud, and you want green or blue or whatever, these guys have a rainbow of colors, and so you can get what you need. Okay, so hopefully you liked all this. Hopefully this is the uh, the first second we call it collaboration video, <laughs> and. And, and that you guys can at least see some of this stuff other than the golf clubs. Uh, the golf bags are truly important, so are the travel gear. I think I use the travel gear like nobody's business. And so far it hasn't failed me, so I have no reason to do anything else. Uh, and so we got to say thanks to Devin from Sun Mountain. Thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the, our rep for, well, at least 10 years now. So... It's one of those uh, healthy golf relationships that you always want to build when you're in this industry. And if you like what you saw, hit the like button. And if you want to see some more of these collaboration videos or more of the fittings or more of the repair stuff, subscribe. And that way you'll know when, they get, uh, when the new video comes out. And of course, let's see your scores go low. I'm glad we Start did again. good. We start, I'm glad we did good. <laughs> All right. Now the peanut gallery says we did good. So there's, there's your other outtake again. Right yeah. there. <laughs> All right. Uh, traveling. Yep. Let's go back. That was pretty good, but we didn't get to the pause and then welcome back thing. <laughs> All right. We'll start again. So now on to the micro cart. <laughs> Just because I was looking, mine doesn't. Okay, hold on. See, that's that's. There yeah. you go. So yeah. Um, All right. Now the other Pokemon. Okay. Okay. The next model is the micro cart. Did I leave enough space there? Do it again.